English listening training. The functions of totem poles. The version of synonym. Totem poles in North America are poles or posts carved with icons or patterns by Aboriginal peoples of the Northwest Coast. Carved from large, straight trees and painted brilliant colors, the totem poles are not just unique works of art. The coastal peoples have long delivered knowledge from generation to generation through verbal traditions, and totem poles were the traditional way of telling the story of an individual family or tribe. The totem pole can be classified into specific groups according to its location and the occasion for which it was carved. Welcome poles were traditionally erected on village beach fronts to greet visitors arriving by canoe. Inside the homes of high-ranking chiefs is where house poles were found. The family's history was carefully carved into each pole. Placed along the back or front walls of a house, house poles also helped to support the major beam of the roof. Memorial poles stood in front of a house. They were placed in memory of a deceased chief or a high-position clan member. The poles portrayed the person's accomplishments or family history. Mortuary poles were also raised to honor the dead, but they differed from memorial poles, having a burial box located at the top of the pole. Inside the burial box were the remains of the deceased. While many of these poles can still be found in various locations on the west coast of North America, there is one pole that can now only be found in a museum, the shame pole. Traditionally, shame poles were carved for a chief to embarrass and mock another who had done something wrong. Once the wrong was made correct, the pole was removed. Totem poles are important expressions of specific Aboriginal cultures. In spite of the threats posed by cultural and political invasion of colonial forces, the art of totem pole carving has survived. Aboriginal carvers continue to carve totems as symbols of their cultural integrity and clan kinship.